We need to talk about Ruby Rose's experience on the set of Batwoman. She is exposing the network CW for their toxic on-set environment and disgusting executives. She is accusing CW executives of forcing staff to steam their pants while they're on. So one of the employees had to go and steam around this guy's crotch while he's still wearing his pants. That is gross. Also, she brings up a time where one stunt person had such a graphic brain injury on set that Ruby said that the team needed therapy, but the network CW refused to do so. So let's get into it. So Ruby Rose is an Australian model and actress. I recognize Ruby from her time on the show Orange is the New Black, but she has starred in a variety of projects. Ruby is now exposing the show Batwoman on the CW network because she's gone through some horrific things on that set. So there are currently two seasons of the show Batwoman on the CW network, but Ruby only ever starred in the first season. She abruptly left the show after that first season, and a lot of people thought that was extremely weird because you don't just star in a show for one season and then you leave. So yeah, it was odd that Ruby left the show so quickly, but nobody really thought much of it until recently because Ruby decided to go to her Instagram and expose the executives on that show. Now we know why she left this show after one season because of the horrific working conditions. So let's go through some of Ruby's Instagram posts. This was Ruby's first post and she wrote, Dear CW, and then she tagged some of the executives. She said, Enough is enough. I'm going to tell the whole world what really happened on that set. She writes, I will come for you. So what happened to me never happens to another person again. And so I can finally take back my life and the truth. Shame on you. So I am here for it. And the things that she exposes are really disgusting and bad. Like, it's not like this is a dramatic moment. Like, I wish she did it sooner, but I'm so proud of her for doing it now. So one person you're going to see Ruby bring up quite often is Peter Roth. He is a former WBTV executive, and he's being a accused of inappropriate behavior. Ruby wrote, Peter Roth, you are first up. You are chapter one. Not sure if you left after getting promoted to the highest position because you just couldn't stop making young women steam your pants around your crotch while you're still wearing them. So, oh, hold up. What? So this man is being accused of making staff go and steam his pants around his crotch, which I'm thinking, okay, I don't think this Peter guy is like, on the television, so why does he need his clothes so perfectly steamed? So obviously that's a huge red flag there, but it doesn't end just there. She also accuses him of hiring private investigators to pretty much spy on her. I guess once Ruby left the set of the show, he hired some investigators to go and I guess investigate her, which is so creepy because Hollywood execs do things like this. They will go and make you feel unsafe to pressure you into staying silent. I still can't believe that this Peter guy made these staffers go and steam his crotch while he's wearing his pants. I mean, thinking about steaming, like, isn't steam kind of dangerous? Like, I feel like steam can burn you really easily. So why would you want your crotch steamed? Um, If I were one of those staffers, I would take that steamer and stick it right up into his uh, whatever, you know what I'm talking about, and I would steam that thing off. But anyways, there was a lot going on on this set of Batwoman. There were a bunch of stunts, and actually, at one point, Ruby got injured on set. She actually injured her neck, which is so scary to me because your neck is so incredibly sensitive, and she had a terrifying neck surgery that almost paralyzed her. So we don't know exactly how Ruby hurt her neck on set, but we do know that it was on set because she was practicing stunts for the show, and that's when she got hurt. So because Ruby got injured on this set of the show, you would assume that maybe they would delay it. They're going to, you know, push it back six months to make sure they're 
leading lady is all right before she's back on set. But nope, the CW doesn't operate that way. Ruby actually has a ton of receipts when it comes to her injury because she was taking pictures and recording everything. In one Instagram post, she wrote, To everyone who said I was too stiff on Batwoman, imagine going back to work 10 days after this. 10 days days. So she had this horrific surgery and then she had to go back. And actually she made a post about this surgery on her page. I'm not going to show anything graphic because the video is graphic, but here's a little snippet of her procedure. The fact that Ruby had to have surgery on this injury to get better shows how bad it was. And she wrote a whole caption talking about how she almost became paralyzed because of this. Like she needed the surgery. So why was she back at work 10 days after this? She even shared an x-ray of her neck or her spine. And as you guys can see, I don't know what's going on here with those black things, but I know that looks intense. And uh, I can't imagine how that feels. Like I really hope it never hurt like my spine or my neck because I really don't want to have like like have surgery like this one day but that looks really painful and can you imagine going back to set and having to do stunts after this with all this up in your neck what really hurt Ruby is that the show's executive refused to accommodate her so she had this injury she had surgery and he was not going to delay the show at all all. And he actually told her that if uh, they go and delay this show, that everyone's going to be fired. It's going to be Ruby's fault. And the network is going to lose out on millions. On top of this, they weren't accommodating in any situations. I mean, at one point, Ruby talks about how she was going to be like a featured star at Comic-Con. But uh, I guess like Peter didn't want to move around some dates to allow her to go. So she actually had to cancel and she had to go and tell Tell her fans that she had to cancel rather than the network or something putting out a statement saying that she can no longer attend. So uh, it seems like they were really, really hard to work with. And I can't imagine how Ruby was feeling because it seems like this team was against her. Here's one Instagram post where she talks a little bit about what happened with the Comic-Con situation. And it seems like she was really upset that she couldn't make it. Hey guys, it's me. Um, I come with bad news, sad news, uh, I will unfortunately not be able to make it to Comic-Con this year and it is devastating and that means that in this particular instance I gotta work and I love you guys, I'll make it up to you and uh, I'm very appreciative of all the support so far, thank you so much. Ruby ended off her Instagram expose by posting three pretty long messages. So let's go ahead and read those. So she writes, so in closing, please to my dear, dear fans, stop asking if I will return to that awful show. I wouldn't return for any amount of money, nor if a gun were to my head, nor did I quit. I did not quit. They ruined Kate Kane and they destroyed Batwoman, not me. I followed orders and if I wanted to day, I was going to have to sign my rights away. Any threats, any bullying tactics or blackmail will not make me stand down. A crew member got third degree burns all over his body and we were given no therapy after witnessing his skin fall off his face, but I was the only one to send him flowers and cards. And then we were told that we had to do a uh, an inappropriate scene without a minute to process. We lost two stunt doubles. I got cut in the face close to my eye in a stunt. I could have been blind. A woman was left quadriplegic, which I believe that means paralyzed. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. We're saying that wrong. Um, and they tried to blame it on her being on her phone so much. So CW didn't even help her to start with uh, an investigation into this. So she had to start a GoFundMe. She's a PA and they work through their phones. Her accident occurred because our show refused to shut down when everyone else did because of COVID. Oh, wow. So actually, there was a mention of Caroline, which is one of the show directors or something. 
and she actually made the staff work through COVID when all the other shows were shutting down. She wrote, Caroline has no heart and wanted us to finish the season throughout the pandemic, and I told her it was a bad idea. I told her everyone was too distracted, constantly checking COVID updates, checking on friends, and seeing Riverdale, The Flash, and Supergirl shut down already. I felt like something bad would have happened, and Caroline maybe visited the set four times in a year unheard of. But in those four to five visits, she decided she could tell me that she knew my injury happened on set, so I should comply with the PI, yet later denied it entirely and said it happened during yoga. LOL. I don't do yoga. So I guess Caroline was trying to say that uh, Ruby's neck injury happened during yoga rather than happening on set, which is messed up. We shut down the next day, not because she almost killed someone, but because the government pulled it. Also, I fought people on set. Yes, not because I wanted to do it, but because I wanted safety. Ask anyone in hair and makeup what I did for them. After two were hospitalized, the only person to come out and speak was Doug Ray. Talk about unprofessional. Called my agent after my exit to find a way to leave, which she replied, break your neck, I guess. Holy crap. I never raised my voice on set, never have. Doug Ray, I'm not too sure who Doug Ray is, but I'm going to include a picture here. He hurt a female stunt double. He yelled like a little B word at women and was a nightmare. He left when he wanted. He arrived when he wanted. He harmed women. And in turn, I, as the lead of the show, decided to send out an email asking for a no yelling policy. They declined. I was late one time because I was in the hospital. And I guess some person named Camrus said, yeah, well, maybe if people were not late, we would make our days. A kid, an egomaniac kid who worked one day a week had the audacity. So I guess she's calling this guy an egomaniac because he was complaining about her being late because she was in the hospital when he only works one day. But I went on to Fallon and I spoke about my injury. I didn't play the game. Aside from them, I was loved and I loved my crew. Oh, and they wouldn't drive me to work and knew I couldn't legally drive after surgery. So they said I have to get a taxi. So wow, she has a lot of complaints here. There's a lot to take away. I mean, I can't even get over the fact that these people are so injured on set. Like it makes me think that like Hollywood just sees like stunt people as disposable. And think about that guy who got Got like I don't know who burnt himself and then at one point there was some person that got a, had a brain injury or something so there's a lot of injury on this show and they need to take better care of their staff and I'm sure this toxic work environment is still continuing on this exact show so they need to fix these issues and I'm honestly so proud of Ruby for speaking out against this but I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other video ideas for me here is my email below but let's go ahead and open this PO box package item it looks like it's from designer button jewel so let's go ahead and see uh, what's going on there. And it looks like they're also in um, California, which I'm going to California in how, how many days? Maybe like 21 days or so, because I'm going to go to the last, hopefully the last free Britney rally because she will be free. Wow, packaging is so nice. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and see what they sent me. And if you guys have any uh, small businesses or, wow, there's a lot here. Okay, um, if you want to offer your friends and followers a discount, here's a 10% off code. Oh, that's awesome. So I'll include the code. It's TY10 and everything will be listed below. Let's go ahead and open this letter. And I love how it has like a little button on it because it's called Designer Button Jewelry. So let's see what they wrote. Whoa, 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 there's things popping out. They've got a really nice card. I love the branding here. Sloan, I absolutely love your perspective and the respectful way you tackle folks' stinky doings. Oh my gosh. Um, thank you for all your awesome content. I wanted to give you some special goodies. I make uh, repurposed jewelry and accessories from authentic designer buttons and hardware. I made you some custom pieces like the gold uh, Chanel tag necklace. Oh my gosh. Um, made from a vintage CC zipper pulls. Uh, the Prada, oh my gosh, can go with anything. Wow, to elevate a look. I love this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much, Heather. I love this. I can't wait. Okay, so it looks like, like her brand is kind of like, um, repurposing jewelry and ways to, I don't know, use like designer, I guess, like, like designs 
and then repurpose them. Like kind of like, it sounds like one of the pieces is like some type of zip, zipper type of situation, but let's go ahead and check this out. I'm like talking way too much. So, oh my gosh, is this it? Let's go ahead. So I love the packaging here. The packaging is really good. Like there's a literal bag for every single thing. So I think this might, oh my gosh, this is so cool. What the, so it's a Chanel like necklace, like, and it's like, it's Chanel, not because it's Chanel, but because the tag right here. So this came off, I guess, like a, a jacket or something. And it just says like Chanel um, 31 Rue. Oh, wow, it's so cute. It's just like the normal Chanel thing. I usually like don't wear gold, but I'm definitely gonna be wearing this one because this is so nice. I'm actually really, really impressed because I love the idea that you are taking something that's older, but still like very classic. Like Chanel's such a, like a classic brand. So that's really, really awesome and great idea. Thank you so much for that. And I love how it comes in like this little bag. It just like adds another layer of like bougie to it all. Um, you sent so much too. Thank you so much. It's so incredibly nice. So let's go ahead and see what this one says so this is another like thank you situation and the packaging again i can't get over this packaging like the box is really nice like i want to keep all this but let's go ahead and see what's going on in this one wow oh my gosh so is this like the same idea oh <gasps> this is so pretty stop look so this is um like another chanel one so it's like got the chanel like logo and i'm guessing this came off of some type of uh, like Chanel piece, some type of like designer item. And like she puts it on the chain and it's like a repurpose. That is so, this is so pretty. I love this so much. It's like also so creative that like, I'm just shocked that you thought about this because these are so cool. And I just got a jewelry box. I'm so excited to store them. So we've got two more packages here. Go ahead and open this up. So right here, we've got this one. <gasps> Wow, 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 look at this. So this is like a Prada like pen. Look how awesome. That looks like it came off like a came off like a purse or something, but look at that. So it's like a little Prada pen. Honestly, I feel like my mom would love that, but also at the same time, like this would be so cool on like a jean jacket or something. So cool. This is awesome, Heather. Thank you so much. And then we've got one more box right here, which the packaging again is so exquisite. Like you must have like really awesome, like look, like even that type of stuff. Like I noticed these things, like this little like pull pouch thing. Um, again, awesome cards and there is a little discount code. So I'm going to include these below so you guys can actually go and get something because these are awesome. And this one right here. Oh my gosh, this one's a Nike one. Look at that. Uh, so it's like the, um, sorry, I'm trying to show you the best way. So it's like a Nike logo. <gasps> that is awesome. These are actually all so incredibly special. I feel so happy to have these. Thank you so much, Heather. These are amazing. Go and check out um, their jewelry line below. I really did not know what to expect, but this is just like blowing my mind. So go and check them out and support their business. It's incredibly special. I am again, blown away. So congrats, Heather, and I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.